Hello, beautiful people. We did it. We're at 100 subscribers. I wasn't even expecting to record this video so soon. I started the beginning of this week with 80-something subscribers. And here we are celebrating our first milestone. Here's the goal that I have for myself, a very ambitious goal. I'm going to get to 1,000 followers before the end of this year. Where in 2024, it is the second day of August. Yep, second day of August. Yes, I know that. That is a very bold statement to make in four months. It's not impossible, but I know for a fact that it's not going to be easy either. I'll tell y'all my plan and y'all send me some love and encouragement down below. Let's go over to the grass because I feel the need to ground myself when I say this. It's super hot out here. Before I get into that, I want to do a small reintroduction to who I am for those who are new to this space. I'm a mom of two, seven and eight years old. I'm a lover girl, but I have a pretty tough shell, which is why I'm into wellness these days all around mentally, physically, emotionally, intellectually. In every way that I can, I want to be well and heal my inner child. Oh, it's a wasps. Oh. I think the wasp went about his business. You gotta get old Dale. We gonna try to get this back out. I'm a lover girl, but I have a very tough outer shell, which is what brought me to being into wellness all around, mentally, physically, emotionally, intellectually. Any way that I can, I want to be well so I can, first of all, live as long as possible. We're not going to be here forever, and I want to live this life as long as possible have fun with it and be well in the process a big piece of that is healing my inner child and the pain that's intertwined with all the people and their traumas that came before me it's a journey going through that being a business owner which brings me to my next point i'm self-employed full-time through photos and phases my brand photography company that will be seven years in November and through Creatives Do Business Well, which is still launching. You'll see a lot of rollouts over the next couple of months to a year. I have big plans for that. I'm a multi-passionate creator, a very, very crafty girl. I come from a line of crafty women or crafty people, creative people in general. I have a whole house full of crafts that I have not even touched yet. I eventually plan to create more just for fun, but I feel like I had to get this foundation set first and I'm in a better space than I was a year and even two years ago to go ahead and start doing a lot of those things for fun. So you'll see a lot of those crafts through the Create With Me videos. And there's a playlist that you can check out. Because I'm on this journey of creating a business that I don't have to sacrifice my own well-being, anything that I'm learning, I'm using this channel to show other creative entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, multipreneurs, whatever you refer to yourself as, how to make your own business sustainable. So any tips and tools that I learned, I'm going to let y'all know. You can expect that from this channel. And our lives are so intertwined with the spiritual world, so I can't not mention that. I am a Virgo for those of you that are into astrology. I have so much Mercury in my chart, which is why I say all the time that I'm a pretty logical and data-driven person, but I'm also very, very nurturing as well. If you're into human design, I am a reflector, the unicorn of the human design chart, and my biggest overall inspiration is being able to live out my own dreams and the dreams of all of those creative and crafty people in my lineage set a foundation and create new traditions going forward long after I'm gone. And it's 222. Check that. Ashe, you know a little teeny bit about me. Let's talk about this plan to 1K. Of course, I want to monetize my channel. There aren't many YouTubers out there 
who doesn't have that goal to do that. And it would be really nice to do that before the end of 2024. And outside of monetization, I am looking to grow a community with the hopes of building relationships with other creators on this journey and that I can be in community with, get tips, get help on this journey, or people going through their own hurdles that I can assist them with. Let's talk about strategy. So it's not, like I said, it's not going to be easy to monetize in four months going from 100 subscribers to 1K. So this is the plan. I'm going to post at least three times a week on YouTube, every single week. Long form videos. These are not going to be shorts. So they're going to be long form videos. I'm going to be using my own frameworks that I use for my own clients. And the biggest thing is scheduling and automating my posts way ahead of time. Batch creating is going to be another part of the strategy. I'm not going to be recording and filming and editing just one thing at a time. I'm going to be time blocking a lot of things so I can, for instance, record. There's the walls again. Okay, and mine is business. So I can record three or four videos at a time and then turn around and edit three or four videos at a time, create the thumbnail, do the SEO research for a week at a time. And like I said, I'm looking to build communities. So everything that I put out there is going to be very targeted. It's not going to be outside of anything I personally like to do and content that I know that my audience is going to like or need as well. So it's all going to be within my own pillars, my own theme, category, niches, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be very, very targeted. One thing that I'm not really sure about, but I'm feeling more comfortable to do so, going live. YouTube will push this content out to other users on the platform as well. So that's just another way to get awareness. I'm not sure on dates just yet, but I know for sure at least once a week I'm going to go live. But I have office hours and you can check that playlist out as well to see what kind of content is there already. But during my office hours, any tools, tips that I have, they will be introduced on the live or I'll just be on live co-working showing y'all some of the things that I'm working on right now. You ready? It's time to go pick up the kiddos from school. So I'm going to see what I can get in before I go and get them. I know for a fact things that I will not be doing. The goal is absolutely not to go viral just for the sake of getting a lot of subscribers, more likes, things like that. Because again, I want to build real community. And I like to call this a no fluff zone. I want this space to be very, very intentional. And I trust that the people that do tune in, my content is going to be relatable to them. And that's what's going to make them want to subscribe. Anything that's in alignment. I'm not going to be doing the super trendy stuff either. I'm not against trends. As a content strategist, I know it has a job. It's there to get you more awareness, but I don't foresee myself partaking in any super trendy stuff. And I don't plan on going crazy with the shorts either. That's not really set in stone, but if I do create shorts, that's going to be very intentional as well. It has to relate to my niches. I know with short form content, it's easy to get in the habit of kind of following what you see everybody else do. So I haven't really figured out a plan for that, but I know that my long form content is going to be the main focus. Kelsey, guess what? Look at this right here. Look at it. A hundred and one subscribers. Give me a high five. Yeah, girl. We still waiting for us to gas. Okay. Thank you. So we had to make a little pit stop. What does that even mean? We say things sometimes we don't even know what it means. Pit stop. Let's look in the dictionary real quick before I get into this. I always gotta look it up. Oh no.
Okay, so I just looked it up in the dictionary. Y'all stop saying that. Stop saying pit. This isn't a pit stop. I take that back. The second version says that it means hell. A pit stop? A hell stop? Wait a second. A place or situation of futility? That's my first time seeing that word. Misery or degradation or pits also means worse. No, this is definitely not a pit stop. It's the exact opposite. So we had to take a stop and we're at the park right now. Stop saying pit, y'all. Even though I have these goals, this isn't all that I'm going to be focusing on. Just to let you know that my whole life is not going to revolve around getting to 1K. There's so many other things that I'll be doing outside of this, which is why I'm just going with it. I'm putting it out into the universe and wherever it goes from there, I'm okay with that. But I'm definitely not going to consume all of my time with this. When I make my content, this is something that supports my livelihood. So while I'm doing this, most likely I'll be releasing new products, new tools. What I foresee in the future with Creatives Do Business Well is Creative CEO Collective Kit and a full shop of tools and products that you can use to grow your own business. I'm going to be growing the Creatives Do Business Well community and getting back ready to offer memberships very, very soon. Continuing to work on one-on-ones and it's a daggone spider on this camera continuing to work on one-on-ones and offering group programs and workshops so you'll see a lot of that over the next few months and of course like I said I have a photography business as well so I'll be working in and on that too. I'm always looking to create better experiences. So my focus will definitely be towards creating better experiences from the moment that people work with me all the way until the end, assuring that they're satisfied. I can admit that I've made some mistakes. That's the whole point of having those mistakes so we can learn from them. And what I've learned is that I want to put systems in place to make sure that everybody that comes in contact with with anything that has to do with me that they have a great experience. I'll be getting my websites launched very, very soon. I'll be launching something that has to do with a microphone. Can you guess what it is? Let me know in the comments. This is going to go along with the Creatives Do Business Well community. I plan on taking some trip, if not plural, most definitely at least one trip. As a creative that has a business, you probably realize that in the wintertime, business gets really, really slow, especially if you're not the person that participates in the holiday sales and things like that. So I'll definitely be preparing for winter, making sure that I meet my income goals, budgeting and saving for the wintertime, just in case it gets a little rough. So thank you again, community, for for getting me to 100 subscribers, supporting me on this journey so far. It never goes unnoticed. I try to do my best to reply to every single person that shows me love, and I'll continue to do that. Keep a lookout if you're on a similar journey and you're looking to make this thing successful on your wealth building journey. And on this road to 1K, any tools or tips that I come across for posting on YouTube, I'll introduce it in this this Road to 1K series and let y'all know some of the things that I learned. So let's see how this goes. At the very least, I'll develop better habits that'll support me and reach in some of my bigger goals that I have in the future. Who else out there has less than a thousand? Let me know down in the comments if you're on this journey so we can keep each other accountable. Hey guys. Say hey Kels and let me know what your channel is looking like. How far are you from that 1K goal? And come join me in the community. I'm gonna link all of that information down in the description. I created a Road to 1K challenge just for us, and it's free so we can go through this together. So turn on those notifications and subscribe if you can relate to this content. And thank you so much for tuning in. That's gonna be it for this video. Peace. I love y'all. Happy creating. Hey guys. Welcome back to my mom's channel. She's over here. <laughs> Subscribe to my mom's channel and my channel to help me and my mom out a little bit because I don't have that much subscribers. I only have three. And my mom has 101. And it's really hot outside, guys.
you have anything else that you want to say? I just wanted to say, guys, that you're awesome fan. No, fans. not fans, community. You're an awesome community, guys. See you later. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I have to say that there's never a dull moment. Mm -hmm.